Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mama Sanity. Today is Wednesday, March the 20th, and I hope y'all are having a great day so far. Today we're going to be talking about um, being thankful and looking for the beauty in the world. And even though I know that's kind of hard, but we got to try. Um, and then I'll end for a quote for the day. So let's get started. I'll tell you how the sun rose a ribbon at a time. Twice a day, weather permitting, the sky becomes an artist's canvas. If you're a morning person, make a special point to look and go outside and savor the sunrise. If you're a night person, set aside time to make a day with the sunset. Offer the creator thanks for the beauty of his work. Sunrise, sunset, trees, flowers, mountains, hills, and valleys, lakes, and seas. Appreciate the world that you live in. That is very true. You know, there's a lot of times when, like I've said before, like I go on my bike rides, um, that I just, I love looking at the trees. Um, when I was younger, trees and gardening, my mom used to love to garden and I didn't understand that. Um, but now I, I get it and it, it's, it's the beauty in nature. And like I said, a couple weeks ago, my family and I, we, pl we planted um, some pretty flowers in our front yard. We did some raking, you know, and gardening. And it's things like that that just make you appreciate God created everything. You know, you look outside and he created the sun, he created the trees, he created the grass, he created the flowers. You, you go to the beach and I could just stare at the beach all day long. You know, you just look at the waves just coming in and out and it's actually relaxing and very calm. And if you want to think of the inner, inner meaning of it, it's God created everything. He created the beautiful mountains. You know, one day I want to live on beautiful property not only with the trees but i want to have a view of beautiful hill country and mountains god created all of that and so as i get older i've learned to appreciate the creation that he has made and so um, my advice to you today is like it said you know whether you're a morning person or a night person just enjoy the sunset the sunset or the sunrise and just realize that every day is a new day and God created that day. So if we enjoy the sunrise or the sunset or the trees or the flowers and look for beauty in the nature that God created, it'll maybe help us give a little more pep in our step and we might have a better day because we're enjoying the beautiful things in life. Um, today's um, prayer is about being thankful. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for being able to see, hear, touch, feel, and walk this morning. Provide a way for those who lack any of those. Lord, we are blessed because you are forgiving God and an understanding God. You have done so much for us and still keep on blessing us and our families and our friends. We say thanks. Thanks for opening doors to bless and close doors that would be detrimental. Forgive us of our sins, the known and the unknown. Continue to keep us safe from all dangers and harm, seen and unseen. Let us start today with a new attitude and plenty of gratitude. Amen. That is really good. You know, you need to be thankful for, like it said, being able to get up every morning. And if you have legs to walk or you have a voice to speak or you have ears to hear or arms to feel, you need to count your blessings because there are many people in this world who don't have things, who don't have legs to walk or don't have arms to feel or can't hear or can't speak. And they're not any less important than we are. Everybody is important in God's eyes and everybody is should be important in each other's eyes. And just because somebody has less than us doesn't make them less. And so that's also important to remember. But you also need to count your blessings and be thankful of things that you do have. Because like I said, there are many people who are less fortunate than us, and we need to pray for them. We need to pray for everybody, um, but we also need to pray for those that are less fortunate than us and ask God to, to heal them and to give them strength to get through what they need to get through. Um, the quote for today is, Look for something positive in each day, even if some days you have to look a little harder. That's really good. You know, like I said before, there are days where I just feel like, oh my goodness, today was just a really bad day. But you don't want to go to sleep on that note. You want to lay your head down and think of one little thing 
positive. No matter how much you have to search your heart, you don't want to lay your head down at night and go to sleep on a negative note. You want to think of something positive that day. Um, and hopefully it'll help you to sleep better and wake up the next day with a more better positive outlook on the fresh new day that we have. So that's all I have for you today and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and stay sane.